Hey, what's up everyone? This is Easy Speeds and Feeds, and today I'll show you how to do dynamic milling in Mastercam using a solid face. Here's the part. It has six bosses sticking out of a rectangular uh, shape. And so far we've done the facing and the high speed milling around the outside. So we're going to go to toolpaths, click on dynamic, machining regions, go over to solids, and next just click on that solid face. Click the check, go to avoidance regions, and we want to avoid all of these bosses. If we don't avoid them, it'll just mill them right off. So make sure to click on everything you want to avoid. Click the check, Check again. Next, find the right tool. Half inch is too big to get in between, so we'll just go with a 3 8. Go into Edit Tool. Call Tool 2. Let's just type something in here. We'll go 50 inches a minute. Eighty five hundred. Now, we will go step over, we'll go 100 thou. And looks like it created a toolpath. We'll hit the back plot, press play. We'll just get a nice visual of what this is doing. So yeah, it's just dynamic milling that solid face we clicked on and avoiding everything we clicked on. So. So far, so good. Okay. Next, we'll select everything and click on Verify. And in Verify, you can really get a good idea of what's going to happen in the machine. So it's going around the outside like we programmed earlier. Now we're looking at the toolpath of the dynamic mill. We just want to pay close attention to what it's doing. So 100 thou step over, 50 inches a minute, and it's just clearing that out nice and easy. I always use dynamic mill because just regular contouring puts a lot of force and stress into the part. So when you take equal 100 thou cuts, it cuts down on the stress, so you, you don't get as much warping when you take off the back side. So yeah, that looks good. We'll exit out of that. And that was just our quick video on how to dynamic mill using a, a solid face. I hope you guys like this video and subscribe for more. Thanks.